switched it up just like a second ago before I started. And maybe I'll go back into it, okay? Um, whether it is that we're looking to attract uh, men, women, customers, allies, like if you're a business owner, I own a few businesses, you want to ally yourself with powerful people, okay? Whatever it is that we're looking to do, one thing that people immediately uh, grasp a hold of, like on an intuitive level, is the emotion that you're feeling. Like if you walked into a um, funeral, you would know. It's almost like you walk into an air, like, ooh. And it would be awkward if you were like telling a joke in the car, and you just walked in like laughing. Because <laughs> the emotion is felt by everybody, yeah? We feel people's emotions. Now, I was looking at this this morning. It's like, how do you use that to attract the opposite sex? How do you use that to attract customers? When a person wins, I remember one time, I think we were at Hooters, and a uh, basketball team had won, but you couldn't hear them. It was like the championship. And it was showing the, the people who won the championship, uh, they were being interviewed, so you couldn't hear it, but you could see the people's faces were all lit up, hugging each other, and this is what it looked like. And then they interviewed the losing team, and the other locker room was like, a lot of like head shaking, uh, like head down, eyes cast down. The other guys were like, this is what it looked like. like, they just won something, right? We couldn't hear it, but we could see it clearly, and we could read the emotion, we could emotion on their faces of the winner and the loser, okay? Now, <coughs> when it comes to attraction, and we're going to take with women first. When it comes to attraction, women are attracted to winners. Okay, just hands down. Hot girl, okay? And I'm, I'm out at a bar or a party or something, and I scan the room quickly. And I can't hear everything, just like when I was watching TV. I'm just watching. And quickly, I start to look to see who, who gives me the emotion of a winner and a loser. Now, why would I, why would I in any way, shape, or form want to hook up with a loser. Let's think about this for a second, right? So I just went to a party, bunch of guys, and then I go home, and then I call up my girlfriend, my BFF, my whoever the fuck it is, and then she's like, how was it? Oh my God, I met this loser. Who's... But he's, okay, but he's really nice, right? But he's really nice, okay? Now, there's scenario A. Scenario B, she goes in there, goes back home, calls BFF, Oh girl, how was it? I wasn't there. Oh my god, this guy, he just won the golf tournament, the basketball championship, the football ring, the fucking started a new business. He, he's a winner. She'd be like, oh really, girl? And then she could turn around and be like, yeah, but I don't know, he's kind of an asshole. Oh girl, well, tell me about him. The asshole part is a little bit pushed to the side at this point. Okay? A little bit pushed to the side. Imagine she was, and he's really nice. Okay, cool, tell me about it. Doesn't really matter. Like, I want to know why he's a winner. We'll deal with this fucking personality later. Okay? Let's deal with the fact that he's an asshole or nice after we find out how much of a fucking winner he is. Because if he's like a huge winner, like let's say I get to, as a, as a super hot girl, I get to hook up with like the supreme guy of our time, whatever, whatever the fuck that is, myself, but somebody else, let's say. Uh, like fucking president of a country or something, right? And then the guy is being a little bit of an asshole. I would almost expect that, okay? But if I was hooking up with a loser, I would expect him to be very nice, because he's a loser. Everyone's stomping on him. He doesn't want to lose me. You get it? So the emotion of, is he nice or is he an asshole, is second to how big of a winner is he. Now let's switch it around so we get it on this side. You go to a party, you come back, you call up your boy, right? Hey man, party was sick. Oh really, how was it? Dude, I met this chick, okay? Now, for guys, it's not about winner or loser, it's about how hot she looks. Period. And you say, yeah, she's kind of ugly. Imagine you say that, right? You, uh, what do you mean, bro? Are you kidding or what? No, 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 but she's really nice. <laughs> oh, hell, uh, yeah, man. Um, are you okay, bro? You know, like, were you super drunk? No, she's really nice. But did you just say she was ugly? Did you just go to a fucking party and hook up with an ugly chick and now you're calling me to tell me about some ugly girl you met? Scenario A. Scenario B. Call, right? 
hey, what's, how's the party? Dude, she was a Playboy model. I hooked up with her. What? Really? Yeah, but she's kind of a bitch. So what? Like, what's up? Does she have friends? What does she look like? Where'd you guys hook up? What'd you do? Yeah, but she's kind of a bitch. Like, shut up. Who cares? We'll deal with her bitchiness after we decide how hot she is. And get this. Based on how hot she is, we will tolerate a certain level of bitchiness. Okay? Now, these are two factors that go together. If she's extremely hot, think of the hottest woman that you can imagine in your life, right? Everybody has a girl or two in their life like that. You tolerate a lot more from that bitch. Like, for real. She gets away with a bunch of shit that other bitches don't. Excuse my, I say bitches and you know, hoes and tricks and <laughs> guys or dogs. You know how it is. We all do. I just say it out loud, out loud in front of people. All know? my guy friends do. Don't yeah. worry about it. And your girlfriends. Right? Girlfriends call guys. That's not what we say to each other. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, don't say it to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my guys to each other. We're, we're. Anyways, that's just how I speak. So, anyways. Is it on? Can they hear me online? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. So, we're dealing with, in relative ratio, if she's extremely hot, she can flake on you three, four, five times. Why would she flake on you five times? I know, dude, she's so fucking hot. Wait. And she's still, come on, like, I'll put up with it. Okay? And then the other one who's just not that hot. Right? You're all over a case. Okay? Then suddenly you're a fucking man, right? Suddenly you're like, well, listen, my time is important. If you ever flake on me again, okay, but you're not doing that with a super hot chick. And this is where my game differs from a lot of people. You see me doing that with tens. Straight up. I mean, a girl, she's, she's a nine, nine, ten, you know, rating way up there. If she fucking acts wrong. She, she hears it. Now, when she hears it, that triggers an emotion in her that this motherfucker has some value in life. Because I don't need to be fucking nice to her. Yeah, that's great that you're hot, but I have a selection of hot girls, so fuck. What, what the fuck? I don't have time all day to fucking sit around for you to flake on me 50 times. It doesn't matter. So that, when you, when, you, when you act like that, it triggers in the woman, you must be somebody. If all the other emotions are correct, let me tell you that, okay? What, what I mean by that? If you're successful, if you have other women around, if you can uh, generate um, good emotions, you're not walking around just pissed off at the world all the time, and now you're like, fuck you, and she says, now, now you're not stable anymore. If you're a stable human being, good emotions, powerful individual, and then you call her on her shit, she will then feel it. Because she also knows that she's fucking you over. This is not an accident in her mind. She didn't accidentally flake. She's been flaking the whole week on everybody. You're number eight she flaked on today. You know what I mean? We have this ratio of how hot she is versus... So how hot she is versus how much we're going to tolerate, normally. Now what about the woman? She has the same thing. Why is it that somebody like Tommy Lee, the, the drummer for, uh, you know, the Tommy Lee, Motley Crue, Motley Crue, he gets to get away with shit that other guys can't. Or these higher value guys. Rock stars, that's a good example. Rock stars seem to get away with shit around women, right? The rock star farts on her face and says, stop! And then she's like, I know, you know, we're so comfortable, she calls her BFF. He even farted on my face. And he like held me down. Like that's cool if the rock star does it. But if she's walking and the fucking homeless guy like accidentally farts over there, ew, fucking gross, you know, ew, call the cops. That homeless guy farted in the other block. It's just a value differential. If his value is way up, she'll put up with a lot more. If your value is low, you can't get away with shit when you talk to her. Okay? So you might be like, she has her drink on the table, and you take a sip. Excuse me? Oh, fucking, you fucking just committed a fucking sin. Your arm is going to get chopped off right now. Like, you're a fucking Middle East, and you stole something, Aladdin and shit. Okay? But that just tells you your value was fucking down the drain, because what if... The president of the country took a drink from her fucking uh, drink. Imagine she's at the table and the president looks around and takes a drink. She'd be like, oh my god, he likes me. I mean, he, he didn't even look at the lid, he just like drank it. So I must have been kissed, I kissed the president today. Kind of. It's the same scenario, the guy's value, one is way up, one is way down. Now, I'm telling you this because a couple of days ago I got this, maybe she's even watching. 
one of my friends, she texts me randomly. And she's like, blah, 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 blah. And then she goes, and I'm, I still have your, it, it goes like this, I still have your back and I still defend you. And I was like, what the fuck? So I text back, I go, what are you talking about? And she goes, I just saw your, uh, the PUA convention, the last video that I put up. And she goes, um, not everybody has secrets, but people have a right to their privacy. And I was like, okay. I just texted, okay, like, what the fuck? Why am I even going to get into this conversation right now, right? And then she came back, and she was like, and I believe that a person six, like, you know, you rate a girl of six, could be somebody else's ten, and the most important thing is that you feel a connection with the woman. So I texted back, I don't agree. Okay? Now we're going to get challenged here. So I don't agree. I said, that's okay. And then went back and forth. Well, I didn't really go back and forth. She said something. I said, okay. I said, are you drunk? Like, why, what is this? why are we even having this discussion right now, you know? Long story short, here's what I know. Here's what I know. If you sit there and if you, as a man, focus on creating a connection, if you focus on creating a connection and she feels that you're trying to create a connection, you lose. Bam! It's the same thing for a customer. Customer comes in, right? I'm going to go buy a car. My girlfriend's buying a car today. And if she felt like the car salesman was like, oh, you wear Nikes too? <laughs> so do I. <laughs> you work out? I just came from the gym. She's like, shut up. What the fuck are you doing? Like, we have a connection. Oh, you're Russian? I'm Russian too. <laughs> if you feel the sensation that someone's trying to connect with you, it's a repulsive an attraction. What is attractive is that you demonstrate your value so high that the person in front of you, they, they start thinking about the connection. That's what it means. So when she tells me, I think connection is the most important, that's great, but how the fuck do you do it? How do you do it? That's great. That's like one of these fucking things. Like, cancer kills. Well, that won't give up. We all know that now. Okay? It's just, it's, like a, it's just a datum thrown out in the air that doesn't do me any fucking good. Connection is very important to a woman. No shit, Sherlock. But how do you fucking do it? How do you fucking do it? That's what I want to know. I want to make it happen. I don't want to go on luck. I don't want to fucking walk around and just be lucky I made a fucking connection with somebody. I tell you how. You go through the steps and somewhere in there, when your value is so high, she will create a fucking connection. In fact, it could be like this. It could be a girl that dates a big white guy who's a football player. I would never look at a tattooed, bald, Middle Eastern guy. I mean. But if I do it right, if I do it right, somewhere in the conversation, she will come up with something. And it will be something like this. It will be something like, you know what? She'll think. I've always felt like an outcast in my life, but I never told anybody. So I had to pretend to be a cheerleader, and that shit sucked. And I get this guy, meaning me. I get this guy. And we have such a connection. Now that's just some far off like fucking, you're in China, I'm in the United States trying to connect the fucking phone. That's not even like holding hands here, you know what I mean? But she'll figure it out if the value is so high. She wants to figure it out. She wants to have a fucking connection. She's designed to have a connection. With who? With someone of value. That's what she wants. She doesn't want to go back and call and say, dude, I had this total connection with this loser. Oh my god, it was crazy. Girl, let me tell you, let's go to lunch, and I'm going to tell you, there's this guy who's just like a total loser. No ambition, no charisma, no nothing. I felt this connection. Girl, are you okay? You know, are you sick? It's the same thing if we said, dude, she was so ugly, but it was like, I, didn't, I don't know what it was. You said she was ugly, yeah, but I was like connected to her. Like what? Connected like what? Like a disease? Like what the fuck is wrong with you? It doesn't make sense. So is connection important? Absolutely. How do you create it? By tremendous value. Tremendous value. Same thing happens in business, okay? I'm going to give you an example. 